We're going on a bear hunt. Here after abbreviated to WGOABH is a timeless tale of reckless behaviour and child endangerment, written by real-life spitting image puppet Michael Rosen. At first glance, the pastel colours and simple repetitive story structure speak of a warm and fuzzy heart, much like the titular bear. But like a bear, this book has sharp claws and will fuck you up. Firstly, a bear hunt doesn't strike me as a very child-friendly activity, so there's obviously three of them present on this one, the youngest being clearly less than a year old. I'm going to go ahead and assume that these two are older brother and sister, which begs the question, where the fuck are the parents? The second this book ends, there's going to be a very interesting phone call from social services. We go to our aunt's house. I'm not saying it's undeserved, don't get me wrong. These clowns take a tiny baby out in the snow and a baby grow without so much as a nappy bag. That behaviour would be better suited to a film set in a US boot camp, not a kid's picture book. While we're at it, where the hell is this meant to be set? The cottage the characters inhabit looks like the south of England, but last I checked there were fuck all bears in Devon. Not to mention they encounter every climate going in their ursine search. Unless this is meant to be an early comment on climate change, could the bear be metaphorical or the result of some sort of group hallucination? Is the bear inside all of us? Is he Jesus? Is that why they find him knocking about in a cave? So many questions, so few answers. Just remind me never to ask these hooligans to babysit my kids. They'll probably take them to break into the Ark of the Covenant or something. P.S. I like to imagine that in an alternate universe, Michael Rosen is a crazed supervillain who hatches a diabolical plot to try and reintroduce bears to the English Riviera with disastrous consequences.